Hello, I'm Dr. Greg Chernoff, and I'd like to talk to you today about the exciting field of facial feminization. For the past 20 years, I've been involved in facial feminization for male to female transgender patients. When you come in for your consultation, we'll spend a lot of time going over with you where you are on your journey. Uh, we'll do computer imaging for you so I can show you realistically what you could hope uh, to achieve. The most common combinations of treatments that I do, many of them in a single session, would be the combination of a hairline advancement uh, for patients as we do the brow lift. Usually in women, we like to see the head of the brow sitting on the bony eye socket with the tail sitting a centimeter above. So at the time of elevating the brows, we do a scalp reduction with a hairline advancement. Many men have a lot of bossing of their frontal bone. So at that same time, I will reduce the bossing of your frontal bone to give a more feminine appearance on profile to the forehead. We then do uh, get rid of the excess eyelid tissue by doing an upper and a lower lid blepharoplasty. Uh, many male patients have uh, masculine looking noses, so we can sculpt uh, the nose during a rhinoplasty. Uh, and then we will typically do a mid face or a face neck lift if there's jowling, if there's banding in the tissue. At that time, we determine, would you benefit from cheek implants, perhaps a chin implant, or maybe a pre-jowl implant if you've got uh, more of a masculine looking jaw. Commonly at that time, I'll also sculpt out your buccal flat fat pads, which are responsible for the convex overhang. The most important part uh, is listening to you to see what you want to achieve and formulating a long-term plan in your facial feminization journey. Thank you. And for more information, you can visit drchernoff.com or come in for a complimentary consultation.